Hello tree hoppers, it's Suzanne uh, here to read you another story today. Uh, the video is taken by my son Glenn. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I hope you're all all right. Um, it's lovely and sunny and you can hear all the birds singing as well, which is nice. So this book is called Oi Frog, one of my favourites. Slightly muddy as most of our books at Tree Hoppers tend to be. And lots of you will know this story. So, Oi, frog, said the cat. Sit on a log. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all knobbly and uncomfortable and they give you splinters in your bottom. I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on a Log. Log. Close up of the splinters, please, Glenn. I've already done it, but okay. <laughs> Can I sit on a mat? Asked the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the cat. Um, what about a chair? Said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting on the chair. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. It's quite bossy, this cat. Okay. Perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. That's the donkey there. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look very happy, does he? <gasps> what about a sofa, said the frog. I could stretch right out on a sofa. Um, gophers sit on sofas, said the cat. It's very simple, really. Cats sit on mats. Hares sit on chairs. Mules sit on stools. Gophers sit on sofas and frogs sit on logs. Oh dear. What do lions sit on? asked the frog. Lions sit on iron, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Well, parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on carrots. Hmm. Doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. It's not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. What do foxes sit on? Asked the frog. Well, foxes, they sit on... Boxes. Boxes, thank you, Glenn. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas. They sit on peas. Quite strange. Disgusting. What do goats sit on? asked the frog. Well, goats, they sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats, cows sit on ploughs, and storks sit on forks. Big ouch to that. That looks very uncomfortable, doesn't it? What do gorillas sit on? asked the frog. Gorillas sit on pillars, said the cat. Gorillas sit on pillars, rats sit on hats, weasels sit on easel, and moles sit on poles. What do seals sit on? asked the frog. Don't you know anything? said the cat. Seals sit on wheels. So doves sit on gloves, newts sit on flutes, lizards sit on wizards, and apes sit on... Great. Grapes. Thank you, Glenn. Hmm. Where have we got to? What about puffins? Asked the frog. Now, what rhymes with puffins? Puffins sit on muffins. muffins. Thank you, Glenn. Puffins sit on muffins. Snakes sit on cakes. cakes. <laughs> Owls sit on towels. Gibbons sit on ribbons. Ribbons. Thank you. Lambs sit on jams, or bees pans. sit on keys, and pumas sit on satsumas. That looks a little bit too small, doesn't it? Well, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, you do now, said the cat. Um, what do dogs sit on? asked the frog. <sighs> I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, said the cat. 
Dogs sit on frogs. Is Milo. This help. Oh, poor froggy. Milo, what have you been doing? Thank you, Glenn. The end. There was lots of nice rhyming words in that story, wasn't there? Frogs and logs. Dogs and frogs. Mats, all sorts. Perhaps you can see if you can come up with lots of other rhyming words of your own. See you next time. Suzanne's Bye. and fans.